Hey guys, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I am thrilled to be sharing with you garage sale haul number 44. When I think about how long I've been doing these garage sale hauls for, it amazes me. So this haul is very, very small. Yesterday I went to a craft fair and I actually recorded some footage while I was there, so I'll link that above. And I had so much fun at the craft fair. I actually wasn't able to get to any garage sales yesterday because I was at the craft fair in the morning and then I actually went to a surprise birthday party. Um, and then I came home and what did Sean and I do after that? I was on the phone with a lot of people yesterday. That's, I think that's what I did a lot. I, made a, I had to make a lot of phone calls. So, um, and I did some school stuff as well. So I wasn't able to go to any garage sales yesterday but I was able to hit up four today. I'll be honest, I really wasn't able to find that much stuff. I did find one, two, three, four, five things. I found five things and I actually only spent like five dollars. I found some cool stuff so I'm excited to share, share it with you guys. Without further ado, let me share with you garage sale haul number 44. So the first thing I would like to share with you is this really cute little purse. I think this purse is so sweet. I'm really, really into like crossbody purses because I'm like lazy when it comes to like holding onto a purse. Like I just don't like to have to like hold onto a purse. I do have some purses that I like would hold in my hand or like put on my like arm right here. But I really like crossbody because I like not having to really think about it. So this is a nice crossbody bag. It was only a dollar. And the strap is a little short. I wish it was a little longer. But I think it's a really cool piece. Hold on. Sorry, I just had to run and um, stir some stuff that's on the stove. I'm filming my fall freezer meal video right now, so um, I'm making some squash soup right now. So back to the bag. So I love this bag. It has so many zippers and like so many like compartments, which I think is really cool. So the first thing is it has this really cute like hook on the top and you can like put it in there if I can figure out how to do it. And then you like twist it and then it's hooked. And so that's the first thing. And it has all of these really awesome pockets and organizers inside of it. It has a spot for change right here. Oops, sorry Finn. It has a little thing for like an ID, which I like. And uh, then it has like some spots for like cards way back in there. And then, so that's the first compartment. And you can't beat a dollar, especially on a nice neutral bag like this. Maybe I'll use it when Sean and I go to Disney. If we ever go to Disney again. I had um, a crossbody bag that I wore to Disney on our honeymoon and it's since broke because I wore it so much. Why won't this zip? Oh, maybe this is why it was a dollar. No. Okay, there it is. So I had a nice crossbody bag when Sean and I were in Disney and it since has broken because I used it so much. So I'm hoping when we go back again that I can use this crossbody bag. And then it has this really big pocket in the middle with another spot for change. And it has one more compartment in the back. And that's just kind of, this is just like a big open space, maybe for like a notepad or I might even be able to fit my iPad um, mini in there. That would be great. Oh, that would be perfect for like on an airplane. I love that. See, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about our future trip to Disney, whenever that is. Finley, what are you doing? What are you doing, baby? Finley's like snuffling all on the couch. It's gonna fall off. Then I got something for free. I got a free curling iron at a garage sale. And it was listed for a dollar. So the sale was kind of interesting. He had a lot of like hunting and fishing stuff, which I wasn't interested in. But then he did have a section um, that he said his wife put stuff out there. And um, she had a curling iron. And it's like a really kind of a small barrel uh, curling iron. But I've been looking for a smaller barrel curling iron. And I'm actually thinking about cutting my hair kind of short. And so I won't need my like big, I have like a big barrel curling iron because I have really long hair right now but I'm actually thinking about like cutting it to like my shoulders um, and then I can use a smaller one so this was free and you can't beat free and then I went to one sale and I got three pieces there the last three pieces of the haul and they're really really pretty and I'm excited to share them with you so the first one I will share with you was free if you saw my thrifted bar cart video you saw that I took an old record cart and I turned it into a bar cart and it looks so cool I'll link it above if you'd like to see that but I found another record card and it was actually for free. And let me share it with you. So, ugh, kind of heavy. It's actually like metal and it has these like metal slats in the middle. And then on the side it has these um, two, this little thing right here that can fold down and you can um, put more records on it. And it has it on both sides. And I'm just not quite sure what I want to do with it yet, but I think it could be really cool. 
like maybe I could even use it at after school and I could put like paper in it to organize it um, as an organizer or um, I could use it as like a little work desk for the kids if they'd like to sit like at a, on like a beanbag chair or something like that um, or like one of those like little uh, crate chairs that you can make out of like milk crates um, and then they could use this as like a little workstation. I'm really not quite sure or it could be some type of decor for my home But I'm really not quite sure it was free I felt that I needed to get it So if you guys have any inspiration on this piece, please let me know because I'm currently not totally inspired by it yet But it was free so I couldn't leave it there. The next piece is a really really big piece and I got it because I really want to be a good hostess and like host lots of parties and have lots of things that I can host uh, that I could use when I host parties and so I found this like it's a cake plate slash punch bowl slash trifle dish and I think it's pretty cool I'm hoping to use it for a party if I ever have one I really need to just have a party so this is the bottom of it and as you can see it has like this kind of like frosted glass with some lines lining down the side and then the top of it looks like this like so um it's really really pretty it's pretty it's really really heavy and pretty substantial um i think it's a really pretty piece um so then she told me that what you do is that's loud you take the bottom and you flip it upside down and then you can set this right here and it could become a punch bowl or a trifle dish which i think is really really fun i mean i really think the possibilities are endless for it um, but it's like a multi-purpose piece. I do kind of wish that the bottom of it wasn't frosted glass because I'm not crazy with the frosted look, but um, I'm sure I can figure out a way to kind of disguise that if I have a party. And it was only $2, so I thought that was a really great deal. And now we are already coming to the last piece, so I'm sorry guys that there's not a ton in this haul, but the last piece is really fun. So I got it at the same sale that I got the record cart and the trifle dish, well the cake plate trifle dish this I'm really excited to use for a party it is this beautiful glass like do you see how beautiful this cut glass is and it, I feel like it kind of goes with the punch bowl that I have it's actually a lazy Susan so it has this bottom part right here and then you just set it in like so and you can turn it look at how smooth it moves too it's like perfection this was also only two dollars which i thought was a crazy awesome deal it's just really like a really really beautiful piece and it has like different sections in it where you could put different types of food um maybe cookies i don't know i'm not quite sure so i feel like the possibilities are endless and i think it's really pretty i know it was a short one but that's it for garage sale haul number 44 thank you so much for watching please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com don't forget to follow me on instagram to see my thrifted teacher outfits of the day please like subscribe and share thank you so much for watching bye